Hi, I'm Sean, and in my previous blog post I gave my reasons why I thought every small business uh, should have a blog. And this week I'm going to show small businesses how they can set up a blog, and without any technical knowledge either. Um, and if you look at the screen in front of you now, you will be able to see uh, what we call a cPanel. Now some hosting companies have a cPanel already installed, and they also have something called Fantastico. If your hosting company doesn't have this installed, then you can easily find one by having a search on Google for cPanel host, or you can go straight to uh, one in the UK called compiler.com, uh, one I've used uh, on a number of occasions, or if you're in the US, you might want to try hostgator.com. Both of those do great value for money hosting and have cPanel and Fantastico installed. I've used both of them and know that this actually works. Now, we're going to go ahead and install a copy of WordPress today using this system. I'm setting up a site at the moment for my father-in-law called colchesterantiques.com and we're going to use this as the dummy for the run through. So, if once you're logged into uh, your hosting with cPanel, you will see something like this that you can see on the screen in front of you now. We just scroll down then down near the bottom of the screen you'll find a panel called software and on here is a Fantastico icon. We just click on this. This will bring up the Fantastico installation screen and there's a number of soft bits of software that we can actually install if we wish to but today we're just interested in WordPress. If we click on that on the right hand side this gives us the WordPress installation screen. We have no current installations so for a new installation we just click on the new installation link. This now gives us the choice of domain names. We only have one here, Colchester Antiques, uh, selected by default. We are going to install it in the root directory, the top directory, so the home page of our WordPress site will be colchesterantiques.com. If you want it to be anything else, um, then you'll probably know more than a beginner and you'll know why you want to uh, want the directory to be anything else and you would fill that in there so we won't go into that um, because you will know if you want to do it now admin access now this is for accessing the administration area on the um, back of the WordPress installation so this will be your WordPress administration area now the administration username you cannot change um, once you have entered that so um, make that something other than admin and enter that in there and then we can enter our password that we wish to use we can actually change this at a later date so no worries there um, we can also add our admin nickname which can also be changed at a later date and we need uh, an administrator email address and for this I'm going to use my email address. Now site name um, we're just going to call this colchesterantiques.com just for now when we go on to the next video we'll, um, we'll show you how to configure the whole of the site from within WordPress itself uh, where we can change this as well as change the description so at the moment we're just going to give the description Colchester Antiques we're just setting up the WordPress site itself today just installing it so click on install WordPress there we go finish the installation and believe it or not that is your WordPress site now installed not one bit of technical information whatsoever um, and we can see that it's installed by going over here so this is now the WordPress site we're on on Colchester Antiques and this is the administrator login area so we're gonna log in here and then you can see we're into the WordPress admin for colchesterantiques.com and there's the front of the site just to prove that it's all installed up and running how easy was that, hey? So, no technical knowledge, um, and just took literally a couple of minutes. So, if that gives you any questions, any queries, 
then leave a comment on my blog and I'll be sure to answer them. Alternatively, you can get me on Twitter, Sean E. Clark, um, or you can even email me if you want to, info at seanclark.com, and I'll be more than happy to help. So, I hope that was uh, easy for you, and come and check back soon. I'll have a, another video showing you how to configure the blog, um, install plugins, and all the bits and pieces so you can get up and running. See you soon. Cheers.